Okay, this is Deborah Kitko at the Wayne County Public Library. I'm the genealogy librarian here. And um, we're in the middle of doing a series talking about births, deaths, marriages. Um, so, and we're going to do, actually, we're focusing just on Wayne County records, although this can be used to help you in research in other places, other locations. I mentioned that in Ohio, uh, we did have a few records report 1856, 1857. These are rare to find. Um, these earlier records prior to 1867 are difficult. I mentioned that um, Gallia County actually has births and deaths records from 1864, so they actually started recording about three years prior to um, them actually trying to get them started. Hamilton County has birth records from 1846. Lucas County has birth records from 1865. Mahoning County has birth and death records from April 1st, 1856 to March 30th, 1857 and then from April 1st, 1864 forward. And Richland County should have some birth and death records from 1865. Um, now I do want you to keep in mind that although um, they were supposed to record the births, deaths, they didn't always record these records. So if you don't find them, you may just they may just not have been recorded, so you may have to look at alternative resources. If we're looking here in, in Wayne County, um, we had a gentleman years ago start a a notebook on early births from 1800 to 1870. These are not actually official birth records. This is a compilation using many different resources. And some of the resources he used would have been the history books we have here locally. He may have used um, the actual International Genealogical um, Society, the IGI uh, index, which if you're fairly new to genealogy, you probably don't know what IGI is. Uh, this is now incorporated with FamilySearch.org. Um, he also used the 1850 and 1880 census, as well as some private correspondences and other items. Now, unfortunately, he passed away in 99, and he never got a chance to finish this project, and we here at the library have been unable to have the time to finish that project. So we got through, he's working on the last names beginning with S. So we do have those records, what he has here, um, what he had finished. And you can always ask us here at the library for us to look in and see what we may have on that. The other source put, was put together by the um, genealogical section of the Wayne County Historical Society. It was done by Richard Smith. And these are birth records of Wayne County from 1867 to 1908. Um, this is before the, the state required it. Um, to be repassed onto the state level in December of 1908. So this book is divided up into two sections, just two volumes. Um, the first volume um, covers the general birth records from 1867 to 1908, and they are um, organized by the father's last name, and they actually give you the kids' names that are born to the father and the mother, and usually they're including the maiden name of the mother if they, if they could be found. It gives you the volume and the page number, so you can actually verify the information. And it also gives you the township. Now, I'd actually encourage you to take a look at the original record, because sometimes these were grouped together. So um, you may have, like, five children, and it shows they're all born in Chippewa Township. There's a good possibility that only a couple of them are born in Chippewa Township, and a couple other kids may have been born in a different location here in Wayne County. But he just sort of lumped it together on this one. In some versions of this book, um, you'll actually see like little red numbers here, and these are in reference to volume two of this book. Now, when Social Security was started in the 1930s, a lot of people did not have an actual birth record or birth certificate, so um, or there is some incorrect or there was some incorrect information given on the birth record if it did exist. So they started something that's called delayed births and corrections. And Richard Smith has actually done a part two of this book, which includes abstracts of birth registrations and corrections, volumes A through Y, 1941 to 1990. And these are arranged alphabetically by families. Um, this book, this was done by in 1990 by Richard Smith. And so these numbers over here refer you to the page number over here in the second volume. And with these, you actually find the name of the individual, um, the parents, sometimes you'll give the year of birth for the father or for the mother, if known, and maybe when they were born, uh, where they were born, 
It also gives the, the child's name and maybe when they are married and where they're residing at the time. And there's also a reference over here to some other numbers. Uh, if you want to get additional information, once again, this is just an abstract, so I do want to encourage you to get a copy of the original record, if at all possible. We do have those here on microfilm. This is the Wayne County, Ohio first. It's in four volumes. Volumes one and two is on one volume, and volumes three and four is the other. So once again, in the first volume, you'll want to take a look at the original records that you can find. And then we also have these other series um, that includes the registration and corrections. And the numbers given in this volume two of this book coincides with the numbers given within this microfilm record. So uh, once again, you know, from a genealogy point of view, it's nice to have the abstracts, but or an, even an index, but it's very important to take a look at the original record because there could be some errors in the abstract. And of course, you want to have the original for your records, for your actual home records. So um, if you have any questions about birth records, um, you can give, give our department a call, 330-262-096, or just contact us through email at genealogy at wcpo.info. And once again, as a reminder, these birth records that we have here in our department go from 1867 to 1908. We also have a few from 1856 to 1857. If you are looking for birth records after 1908, you will have to contact the health department either the health department here at the county level, which is right across the street from the library, or you can always go to um, this, uh, the state health department, which is down in Columbus. So, um, and there would be a fee if you actually order um, through Columbus. You can do that online. Uh, and here in Ohio, they no longer give uncertified copies of the certificates. Do so you have to actually get a certified copy, which actually means that the price is increased a little bit. If you go to the local level, if you go there in person, um, some of the health departments will permit you to just take a picture um, at no charge. But once again, you're going to want to check with your local authorities, with your local health department, and see what their rules will be and abide by their rules. So um, another place that you can find these, if you can't come into the library, uh, you can. these are also available through Family Search. Go into familysearch.org. I believe most of them are indexed on there. If not, you can always go to the catalog and actually browse through the records. So, um, so that's the basic overview about the Wayne County birth records here. And um, hopefully this is helping you a little bit. So uh, the next one, we're going to talk about marriage records, and then we're going to talk about death records as well. So for now, um, go ahead and look through those birth records and see if you can find them. If not, you may have to look for substitutes. Thank you. Okay.